Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. Today we're gonna to be doing an off the mat project, strawberry shortcake. I mean, look how adorable she looks. So here's the thing. Um, I have reached out, Cuts, Crafts, and More on Etsy. She is going to be working with us, so I'm super excited because hopefully what that means is that every time I do a file, I'm gonna try to stick with her so that there's a place for you guys to always go and purchase your files so that we can be working with the same files. Um, I've seen some of her stuff, it's super cute. So I'm hoping that together we can make it a more easier experience for you guys to access files, purchase them, and so that we can have the same files so that we can work the tutorials together. Okay, so <laughs> let's get started. Now, just while we're on this page, um, there are four images. The one that I think I wanna do is this one. and. Can you take a guess why? I want to do this one because I feel like with her hair, it's split into three somewhat even sizes. So I can make her kind of big and hopefully not have any seams. The seams where I'm going to see is maybe in the hat. We'll see what we can do with that. But do you see how this hair, this piece is, is way longer? So I'm worried that that would impact the size. And same thing with this one. This piece is really long. And same over here. Whereas this one is kind of like three, not, they're not even, but one of them, like this one is the biggest one. It's not gigantic in comparison to the other two. So this is the one I want to do. When you purchase it, you're going to buy it, download the file. So I've already downloaded my file and it's down here. It's downloaded here. What I want to do is I want to go and show in folder. I've already renamed it, but I'll show you how to do that so that you can always find your files. So I did click show, right? Maybe I didn't. Show in folder. Ah, why isn't it letting me do that? Uh-oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go back out. So show in folder, it's in downloads. I've already, like I said, renamed it. So when you wanna rename something, you just click on it. So I'm gonna click on this. Oh, did you see that one? I have a giveaway coming up. It's gonna be a good one. So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm jumping all over the place, but that one is such a fun excitement um, or some fun, exciting giveaway. It's just from me. Um, it's for a $300 shopping spree on Amazon. So I'm super excited because someone's gonna get seriously hooked up. Um, all you have to do is follow me on YouTube and Instagram. You guys are already following me on YouTube, otherwise you wouldn't be seeing this video, right? Uh, and so that's coming in the first week in June. So I will post the comments here as well when that contest is open. But hopefully you guys are following me on Instagram. That That is my main platform and YouTube. But YouTube is hard because it's attached to an actual video, right? Whereas on Instagram, I can do Instagram stories and post. So if you're not on Instagram, hopefully this is a good enough reason to get you on Instagram. Instagram is such a great, I don't know, it's my favorite social media um, app. So anyway, first week in June of 2021, we are going to be doing that. All right. Um, okay, so you want to click on it, <laughs> right click and rename so i can rename it strawberry shortcake i'm going to do demo just so that you can see so when i'm done there it is right so you want to double click on this to go into your zip file so here there's four images i don't know which one is which so i'm just going to drag all four of them i'm going to cop you know click on all four and i put it into my desktop so that it's basically oh i had already done that so i'm going to replace the files um because we're unzipping it. You can't upload zipped files into Design Space. So you gotta unzip it, basically extract each one. I'm dropping all of it into my desktop so that I know where to go look for them. All right, so let's go into Design Space. So here's Design Space. We're gonna go to Upload and Upload Image, Browse. And we're gonna go into desktop. We are in desktop and it was under strawberry shortcake. Where are you? Here we go. So we've gotta upload each one individually because I don't know what they look like. So I'm gonna double click on this. 
Oh, and it's the one that I wanted. So it's called Strawberry Shortcake. Um, this is a good place to rename it to something that you're going to remember because what happens is whatever name you um, identify this image with, it's going to be in the image library over here. So in the future, you could go into images and search for Strawberry Shortcake and this one will be available. So you want to make sure that this is not, you know, image one or SVG file because then you're never going to remember. All right, upload. We don't have to upload the others because we already have our file. So let's click on this and insert image. And she's going to be so stinking cute because the colors for one, you've got the green, which I have this mint green that I want to use the light green from Cricut and then a pale pink. I mean, this actually might be good to mix glitter cardstock with regular cardstock. I, I need to think about the colors where I'm going to get the colors from. But all right, so here are our layers. What we wanna do is let's try to do this at 30 inches and see what we have. So I changed it in height. You always wanna just change one because it needs to be locked because however tall we make it, we want it to go wide proportionately. So you wanna keep it locked because then the system, you know, Design Space will just update it for you and resize it perfectly. So, okay. Um, let's ungroup this. I'm going to zoom out so that we don't have to scroll up and down. Okay. So here she is. I mean, she's so cute. All right. So let's look at the hat. The hat is 12.2 by 20. Okay. So let's go to contour and we're contouring right now. Cause I want to see how wide, how, how big this hat is. I'm just going to hide off for the moment, okay? Because I want to get the dimensions of this. Okay, 12.2 by 7.6. We can, I'm going to show you how so it would work. So right now, it's going to look like you can't cut it with a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, right? But you can because you want to rotate this and unlock it. It will give you the new dimensions. It's 11 by 10. So we can totally cut that on a 12 by 12 um, piece of cardstock. So let me undo that for a second. showing is just so that I can isolate each um, each of my problem areas more quickly so I can see if I need to go down in size um, you know when something is close so I do a lot of my characters I do at 30 inches and most of the time I don't have a problem because I, I do this I do like my background homework right you want to make sure that no one piece is too big. If it is, you got to think about your other options. Is it a dark color? Can I use dark color glitter to hide the seam? Um, if I can't do that, can I create a deliberate seam and make it look natural and break it up into two pieces? So like, you know how her hair right now is in three pieces? Um, if I needed to, I can maybe slice it up here and make this hair over here two pieces. If that works and that makes you fit on a, you know, without a seam, a visible seam, then th these are all the tips and tricks that you want to have in your bag. But you're, it all comes back to the image selection. So in this case, because there's the legs, the skirt, the shirt, the hair, you know, there's all these different layers from top to bottom, which means we can go 30 inches because there's so many layers. At worst, if something was 11 inches, you know, we, we can make it work like her hat, right? Because it's wide. But um, on the flip side, if I picked an image of Strawberry Shortcake where it was just the hat and the face, 
there's only so much I can do, right? Because her face then can only be 11 inches. Her hat can only be 11 inches. So at most I'm looking at, let's say about 20 inches, 22 inches, however you wanna calculate that. But you see where I'm going and probably not even that because the hat would be so wide that you couldn't even do that. Um, so that's what I mean. Okay, sorry, I'm like super talkative today. Um, all right, let's 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 start working on this stuff. Let's see what we have. So we're gonna move out the colors one by one, right? So here is her hat. Her hat is, I mean, her, the light pink. It's the hat, the lips, and the lips are kind of small. I'm not loving that. And then um, her skirt. Everything's in pieces, so I like that. Let's go and bring in a square because right now it's 12.2 by 20. So we couldn't cut this as is. We need to slice it up, but not slice through the actual um, uh, pieces, but just slice it so that we break it apart. So the skirt will be by itself because right now these three items or four items, they're moving as one. So let's get the skirt in here and we're gonna grab these two items and slice. So now the skirt will be separated and you'll see that the skirt is something that we can totally cut on the Cricut. So the skirt is seven inches by six inches, right? How cute is that? We can get rid of the slice results. We can use the same square and we can cut this. I mean, this is gonna be so cute. It's it's gonna come down to how cute can it get? That's gonna depend on the cardstock that we choose. We want like really pretty colors. We want like a pretty pink. I don't know, that's gonna look so good. Um, okay, so I love, I love all the details. Like this looks like it's crazy difficult, but it's all one piece, right? That's the beauty of a really good design is something looks really complicated, but it's one piece of cardstock that you have to manage and it's super, super easy. All right, so here we've got, we've got our pink all done. So let's delete that. Um, let's look at our next color. So here's our whites. Oh, okay. So we don't, I don't like the whites. These polka dots, no. So what I wanna do is instead, um, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna duplicate this skirt. Okay, and then we're gonna contour and we're gonna hide all. Then we're gonna turn that into white. Okay, so what's gonna happen is this, I'm gonna change it to a different color so you can see what I mean, okay? But we'll change it back to white. So this, let's make this light blue, just so that we can really see it. So I'm going to arrange, send to the back, okay? So you see how the polka dots are gonna come through? That's what we want. We don't want to keep track of all these white dots. That's, that's uh, it's just a lot of work and we don't wanna do that. So, okay, so we've got the skirt down. The skirt is good, so let's make that into white. Um, that still leaves us with the stripes of the socks, which I don't mind because those are big squares and they're different sizes so you kind of know where everything goes. So I'm okay with that. The shirt looks like it's in one piece. Okay, so I think it was just that. Let's, um... I mean, I would love to make this all one, but it's gonna be difficult. Yeah, okay, so we're just gonna keep this as is, but we're gonna slice this apart because this is, um, this won't fit on our, on our cardstock. Or it's kind of wasteful. So let's do this. I'm trying to do just one sock at one time, so like, I'm struggling. Okay, here we go. Let's slice this and see what we get, okay? Eh, 
And we got some of the polka dots, not a big deal. So on this piece, what you wanna do is you wanna to go to contour and you just wanna get rid of the dots. So we're gonna select it to remove it. These are things that we're hiding, okay? And sorry, let me just give me one second. Okay, my babysitter's here. <laughs> okay, so here's one section of the white. Let's do it over here as well. So I'm gonna turn this over. We're gonna get the socks over here. And I almost think the white, I might wanna make it just regular textured white. Or have you seen the Swiss dots? Those look kinda of cute, like they have little polka dots, but it's all white paper. Okay, so I think I might wanna do that. Okay, there's that. Let's separate out the, the hat, the brim. So you can see I'm kinda of just using the same thing. When you're slicing, you can only slice two things at one time. So it's always like my square or my shape, right? And then the image. What you wanna make sure is the shape um, covers completely the piece that you want separated. So that way it comes out, you know, it's sliced out as a whole piece the way you want it to. Okay, so I think I can get rid of this square. It's definitely used up. And bring in another square so that we can slice out the eyes. And then we have just the, the teeth and the shirt, the dots we can get rid of, right? Okay, almost there, okay. Okay, so now let's move all these things out of the way. getting rid of the slice results. So we have all our white pieces here. All we have left is the shirt. We can just go to contour, I think, and quickly hide all. And that leaves us with the shirt. And then we want the little detail there. Um, and it looks like that's all we want, okay. So here's our shirt, our white is done. <laughs> Let's look at, okay, so our skin, our skin color is kind of good, it's just in a couple pieces. So let's go and do this. And I'm just gonna move this arm over here. And you can see my arm is completely in the square. This right here, it's okay that it's there. Just make sure that when you go in to grab your two items, look, I'm grabbing my square and I'm grabbing my skin color. That's it. I don't need to bring my cursor all the way over. So because my cursor only picked up two items, I can still slice. Okay, so we've got the face and I'm wondering if the face if that's in two pieces or one piece okay so it is two pieces we can get rid of this and these two items okay so let's look at her face there may be a seam running down through her eyes or her mouth so what I want to do is I want to duplicate the face and I wanna to go to contour and I'm gonna hide all. So what happens is I'm gonna turn this into black. So if there was a seam running down or seams, then I have this black piece that's gonna go right behind my face. So any seams that would have been there will be gone and then the, the black will sit on top of the seams on here. So that's a great way, a great tip to, um, to just hide the seams. 
now now you're you're not going to notice anything in the face okay let's look at our pink so our pink is in a couple pieces the shoe what i would do is let's zoom in for a second let's really analyze this pink okay so here is her hair and I am tempted because now that I know how big this piece is, I'm tempted to weld a little piece together here so that it's one piece, weld a little bit here so that's another piece. So it's just less pieces that I have to deal with. I will definitely weld a little bit for the shoe so that the shoe is also one piece, each shoe. So let's go and bring in a circle. I still want the details of, you know, the the split between the sole and the shoe, but I don't need it to be a complete cut. I can do something like this. And I'm gonna weld. So now instead of the shoe being two pieces, it's one piece, but still has that detail. No one's gonna know the difference, I promise you. <laughs> but it just helps you like, you don't have to worry about now taking two pieces off the mat and then taping down two pieces. It's one piece, you don't have to line anything up. It's going to be amazing. So let's do that with this one as well. And right around there. So I'm gonna grab these two and weld. So the details are still there, right? but it just makes it easier for you. So let's go and look at this. I would do the same thing to the hair. So I've cut down on, basically it's gonna be four pieces. it over and then I'm going to duplicate it because I'm going to do it again here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so I'm going to grab I mean, this doesn't look any any funkier than this, right? I mean, it's just shapes around her hair and we are good there. So let's zoom back out. And with this, we can slice really quickly so that we can remove the pieces. And I'll make my square really big so we can use the same square. Let's do the shoe. So we're gonna slice these two items. Then I'm gonna move the shoe over here and slice on this side. I love these retro birthday parties. I just think it's so cute. Um, all these, you know, 80s moms that are just showing their kids the cutest cartoons. I absolutely love it. <laughs> okay, um, let's see. We've got this little piece right here. Oops. Oops, and I'm right over that, so I'm going to move it over so that you guys can see. Sorry. Okay, so we've got a few more pieces to do right here. Um, okay, so these pieces are kind of close to each other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to contour to separate the pieces. So we basically have one, two, three, four pieces, right? So when we're using contour to separate pieces, however many pieces that you want, you want that many copies. So we have four pieces, we want four copies total. So here's my set, I'm gonna duplicate, second, third, and fourth copy. Then one by one, we're gonna contour. So we're gonna click on contour, and we're gonna say, hi it all. It's gonna leave me this one big piece of hair, and that hair is 8.6 by 8.5. The next piece, contour, 
and we're gonna say hide all again but this time I want this piece and I don't want this piece so here's my second piece six inches by five let's go to contour hide all again it always whenever you click hide all it defaults to one and usually it's the biggest piece it feels like or the topmost piece um, because if it hit if it literally hit everything the image would just disappear right so we don't want that so um, all right we want this piece and we don't want this piece so you're selecting and deselecting contour is a super 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 cool feature so you want to get really comfortable with it because it really does help out um, what you do here all right so i want these two pieces i don't want this piece so you can see you can click over here or you can click over here on the image all right there we go so our bright pink is done all we have left is her tongue which is a different color and we have her the green so the green yeah, I'm gonna slice that up into pieces that, you know, individual pieces. And then let's look at this. All right, so here's my dilemma. I'm gonna show you on this one. I have another designer friend who is now selling this grid of squares. So if you're new, you might not know what I'm talking about, but my process is I build a grid of squares so that I can slice up this black image. The reason why I built the grid of squares is so that um, it's easy to piece it back together because you have the four corners meet. Um, you also have the seams like butting up to each other. So they're flushed, which means it just helps us hide the seams really well because they go right up to each other. We tape it down and hopefully you won't notice the seams. So if you go to upload, if you buy her SVG file, then it will come over like this give me a second so instead of building the squares I can just go in and click on this and here's nine squares already sized properly um, already flushed right so I'm gonna drop it right here I still what you I still want you to do is go into position and round to the nearest whole number so we're gonna round this to three and five okay then what you want to do is you want to ungroup it and then you want to scroll down to go get our black background here it is and arrange send to the front Ta -da! <laughs> so she is right here let's look at how we're going to slice her up so i feel like hmm She's a tough one. I almost want to tilt her a little bit so that the leg, you see, this looks good. So this looks good to me. What you don't want is something like this because you have this little piece right here it's gonna be its piece by itself, right? Or you don't want this, where just the little tip of the hat is hanging out by itself. We want bigger pieces. And sometimes the, the file is just the way it is. So you can't do anything about it. Um, but when you can, you wanna make sure that you have big pieces. Like this is all gonna be good. Okay, so we don't even need these three. You can just take it and delete. Let's slice one corner at a time or one square at a time okay and we're sitting over a lot of stuff so we might have some problems slicing i should have moved it over a little bit better but it's okay we'll figure it out see how thin my cursor is right there but grab this, oh, okay, I must, there must be something else underneath. Okay, it's not letting me slice. Let me go this way. Okay, that let me slice. 
Let me go this way. That let me slice. Okay, so we've got our six pieces. Let's pull them apart so you can see what the six pieces look like. See, that's a decent sized piece. Same here, same here. Mm, goes like this, I think. All right, I'm gonna get rid of these. Right, big piece, big piece. This goes up over here. So see, now we have six pieces that the Cricut can cut because before it was 30 inches, it was way too big, but now it's six pieces that can cut. And see, like when we put this together, these four corners all meet up. So it's gonna look really as seamless as possible. Okay, so this we don't need. Okay, there. We've got everything. Oh, we still need to slice up the, the green. So the green, I would bring in a square. And let's go to a cleaner space. <laughs> Here it is. Oops. Let's move this down a bit. Let's start, st oh my gosh, what is going on here? Okay, let's slice out our green. Um, we can do the socks. So because of the socks, that's really the only thing that makes this um, have a lot of pieces. So I normally don't like to have this many pieces, but in this case, it looks pretty easy to manage. So I'm okay with it. But she is, other than the black background, right? Everything's gonna fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So she's gonna look flawless. She's gonna be super cute. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the whole purpose, right? Is to make this as big as we can, but still look amazing. Um, I've done really, really big pieces. And I feel like when it doesn't look good, I should have just gone and made it a little bit smaller. It's it would have been, you know, more stunning and no one would have known that, you know, we wanted it to be five feet instead of four feet. But instead at four feet you have a gorgeous character. That's that's my thinking. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna keep those together, but I am gonna separate this. And then we're done. Oops, all right. Let's see. I picked up too many pieces. There we go. All right, so then that means we can get rid of this square as soon as it slices. Get rid of this. Okay, um, let me save this. So I think we, oh, I was gonna call her Rainbow Bright Strawberry Shortcake. 30 inches. And then I'm going to show you the Make It screen, and then we're going to go. All right, so let's go to Make It so I can show you how I would rearrange the mats. I do like my 12 by 12 mats, I mean 12 by 24 mats. Just click OK here. So here's the whites. See, with the whites, I mean, you can move this over. The reason why I would do that is so that next time... Um, actually, I would probably do it this way. So that next time you have usable scraps, like you're gonna have one gigantic piece right here that's gonna go the whole length. So it's gonna be easy to reuse next time. This is what I would do. You could save a little bit of space there if you wanted to, but this is a nice chunk that can be used again. Oh, wait a minute, there's more, there's socks. Okay, click on the three dots, move object, Let's move it to the first screen. We don't need two sheets of cardstock for this. I think this will all fit. So you put that there. Let's go on this one. Click on the three dots, move object, and we're gonna move it to the first 
mat. <laughs> I'm like, what do I call this? Um, rotate it a little bit to make sure everything fits. Ta-da, okay. Um, maybe we can, this is not so us as usable as before, but you still have some chunks right here that you can reuse. All right, let's look at our block. Okay, so they put these two together. This is pretty big. Okay, this one. This one can fit somewhere else. Let's click on the three dots, move object. I think we can make that piece fit here. Just make sure that when you're moving these pieces that nothing overlaps each other. <laughs> because what will happen then is you're gonna have to recut that whole piece because if this was like this, it's gonna cut here, then it's gonna cut here and you have neither piece will be usable. All right, so those two pieces are good. I'm almost wondering, can we do anything else? No, okay, so you're gonna have four sheets of black. Let's look at our, this is our tongue. It's teeny tiny, but you can use scrap for that. Here is her face and her arms. I mean, you could move this in a little bit better. Um, move this up. I don't know, whatever your scrap is. All right, let's look at the green. The green, maybe something like, oh, that won't fit anywhere. It was probably best the way it was. <laughs> oh, wait a minute, we've got stuff over here, okay. We can move this stuff over. Oh yeah, okay, here we go. Great, squeezing it up there. Yeah, so next time we've got all this down here. Let's look at the pink. Okay, so the pink I think we can move as well. So here's the other tri trick. Change this to 12 by 24. It will put everything on one mat so that we don't have to move each item over one at a time. And it's okay, you don't have to have a 12 by 24 mat. You don't have to have a uh, you know, 12 by 24 paper. We're just trying to smush everything in. All right, let's see if we can. I know this one's sticking out. I don't think I can fit everything on one. That's gonna make me sad. Ah, <laughs> uh, this piece is too big. Let's see, what can we do? Hold on, maybe we can fit this. Hold up, we, I, now I feel challenged. <laughs> like I need to make this work. Okay, we're gonna do this. Okay, we're gonna do... Um, uh, will this work? So close. <gasps> oh yes, okay, so <laughs> we've got that so far. Okay. This little itty bitty. Okay, now we've just got the shoes. Okay, I, I think, I don't wanna speak too soon. Yes, we've got it all in one. There you go. It's above the 12 inch line, one 12 by 12 piece of card stock on a 12 by 12 map. Yay! <laughs> it's the little things that make me happy. All right, here's her hat. Her hat we're gonna do diagonally so that it can fit. And so it's above the 12 line, right? And then here's her skirt. Oh, perfect, look at that. Okay, that's it. So one light pink sheet, one bright pink, half a sheet of green, basically. Um, skin, her tongue, 
if you really want to make it a different color but I might go to the light pink it just depends four sheets of black one sheet of white she's gonna be beautiful all right let me know what you want to see comments tell me too fast too slow too much info less info I don't know just give me some feedback so I know where you where you guys want me to go and I will talk to you later thank you bye